Hello everyone, it's Pictures Pro Annie here again with Facebook Live. Here in Florida, we've been having some absolutely beautiful weather and I have enjoyed it so much. And I hope that all of you have been having some of that great weather too. Uh, tonight, what I want to do is talk about Pinterest for business ads. I know you're hearing a lot out there, a lot of rumblings about people with Facebook and a lot of people have been using the Facebook ads. And so now some a lot of business owners are taking a look at the Pinterest ads and how they work. And the thing to keep in mind is that Pinterest ads are very different. Uh, and you need to come up with a, a very good long-term plan that it, if you're going to use that. And in the first month of creating those ads and using Pinterest, you Remember, first of all, that it's a marketing tool, so therefore you need to come up with a plan, develop it, tweak it, and overcome some of the obstacles that you may face. Uh, for example, you know, with the images, what platform are you going to use to develop your images that you're going to use uh, for Pinterest? And of course, knowing who your target target is, target market is, is very important so that you can evaluate and see if you're reaching that target market uh, because some that's one of the things that you need to evaluate is are my images resonating with the people that I want it to resonate with uh, for example if you're a hotel and mostly of uh, what's getting pinned is for you know say things from a wedding board and that's really not what your hotel is all about your focus really is more on, say, the historical value because it's an historical end. Then you need to make some adjustments uh, with your images, with your boards, your keywords, and be able to to be able to reach the right audience. Which, of course, is another thing. If you're doing Pinterest ads, you want to make sure that you're using the right keywords. And a lot of times, what I will do is I will put say nine or ten key words in there and then after 24 hours go back and take a look and see which ones are actually getting clicks you know actually driving traffic to the website and i'll delete the others because that way i have a better idea of what is going to attract that consumer to the uh, particular website you know, uh, you know, do some A and B testing, not only with images, but with your ads. Do some A and B testing with bids in place. You know, try out, say, 50 cents and see if uh, how well that works. And then try out 75 cents, see how well that works. And then that way you're spending your money more wisely on the ads. And remember that every touch point on Pinterest is important not just that final after they've made a decision because the important thing about pinterest is that you're getting these people in their early planning stages when they're taking a look at what they want to put in their shopping cart and when people take a look at things and find things on pinterest then the shopping cart is 40 percent larger than any other digital platform out there and so what we're saying here is that Pinterest ads uh, deliver a 28 to 1 return and on, the, on ad spent. And so uh, that's, you know, very good results. And another thing is that uh, they drive 30% more sales per impression than the next best channel. So keep all of that in mind. And I've talked about before, the lag effect, for example, one of my clients, something that I pinned last month, this month it's taken off and, you know, all of a sudden yesterday, 10 different people bought one of the products, you know. So those are the kinds of things that you have to keep in mind with Pinterest, uh, that viral effect and that long shelf life that it has. And that's the reason why I always say that Pinterest is for that long-term growth. Uh, Pinterest is not for that flash in the pan or that person that company business person that's just looking for bam sales because that's not going to happen on pinterest more than likely it's more about building those relationships with your customers which now 
people value very much and catching those people in that planning stage. So this is Pinterest Pro Anna. Join me again Thursday night at 7 p.m. And until then, I'll be traveling on down the Pinterest Super Highway.